Right, up in the woods again. We're in a uh, change of the weather, storm Ella or Isla or something is coming in. So there will be wind noise, so I'll just speak louder. What I wanted to do is have a look at how coppice responds to being cut. This is hazel, but other species respond similarly. So, when coppice is left derelict, it cycles down. So what happens is it goes from having a lot of stems per stool to having a few. You see this one here is desperately trying to make more stems, but the deer are chewing it. There's also a bit of develveting of antlers going on, potentially. But everything's getting chewed off. So it's got no recourse at the moment, with the deer browsing being what it is, to staying with this one stem, which is up in there, and it's stressed for light. So the bigger, more vigorous stools tend to outcompete the smaller ones. And you also get gaps. There's a gap here where there's no stool. Obviously if you're cutting coppice you want it to be as luxuriant as possible with as many stems per stool as you can get and as many stools as you can get. See this one here has died off, fallen. And this one here is extremely mimsy. Still alive so we can save it. And the way we save it, it's of course by cutting everything around it. If you just cut this, with the deer being what they are, you'd end up with this being chewed off. It's already a little bit sad and it would die. No question whatsoever. If you look at this stool, see this is all one stool. It's a big ring and it's about three foot across, maybe a bit more. So if you cut this, it'll regrow better from the outside of each of these individual groups and it will eventually over time spread out further and fragment. You can see a similar process going on with this one. This is an ancient wood, it's on the inventory. So it's possible that some of these stools are very old indeed. Ancient in the British Isles context means it's been woodland since 1600 or before. That doesn't mean that it's never been cut, because most woodlands have been cut, and this wood would certainly have been coppiced every seven years. They've been up here maximising the income. It would have been part of the farm economy. Oops, nearly fell over. If you look at this stool here, big. And if we go back a bit, we get the question that we need to ask. Is this one part of that and that? So is this one really big stool? Don't know. The only way we can know is to actually do the genetics on it. But I haven't got the resources to do analysis. I would dearly love to know. So, that's recession. You can see this one's died. This one's got a dead stem on it. This stem at the moment is still alive. It's going up with the light as much as it can. This one here, reduced to one stem. This one here is very small. This one here is very small. That one there is tiny and dead. But if we look up, that's contributing. See the dense canopy of this uh, sweet chestnut? And we've got a big gap here. So what it would be nice to do is to lay some stems into this see if we can get them going again. But that's unlikely to succeed 
unless we can do something about this uh, canopy of this tree which is a bit beyond my uh, capabilities right let's go and look at some uh, expansion We're going through there into last year's cant and the cant from the year before talk to you in a minute right this is last year's cant and you can see where I cut last year this area here area on the top with the brambles and there's a lot of brash scattered in there and all down here where the stools are really tiny that was cut by my neighbours about four or five years ago the stools weren't projected and Bambi ate them all and unfortunately Bambi got in here again this year and ate all these that I cut These ones over in this corner, possibly because I spent a lot of time over here and it smelled of stinky old bloke, these ones didn't get cut. See some de-velveting of antlers going on here. And there's some browsing on the outer stems. This is how much they should grow in a year. That's my eye level, I'm five foot eight. So that's six foot, no problem these ones here are a little bit taller again this one hasn't been chewed which is really nice but there has been some de-velveting going on and what happens as time goes on oh, there was a little bit of chewing on this one the center ones these are dead start to die off so the outer stems of your stool do better than the ones in the middle let's try and show that on an older one let's go in here this has now had three growing seasons and that's gone up to around 10 foot this one in the middle was left for potentially for layering that'll probably happen at year seven when this is recut because that'll be a fairly small but tall and healthy stem and that'll layer quite nicely right we're going through here this is the hazel regeneration you can see that that's up 10 foot but if we look at say this stool here taken at random on this gov let's have a look at its interior see all these stems here are really nice the lower branches are starting to die off so it'll be less twiggy by the time year seven rolls around this is year three or 2024 will be its fourth growing season this one in the middle is still alive but it's dead at the top That one's dead. That's dead. The funny grating noise is the uh, stems on my hat. They're all dead. So I'm wearing my hard hat with its visor. So you can see these are all dying off. It's leaving the more vigorous stems and the ones at the outside. So over the years, the thing spreads. Yeah, there's a lot of this. And that is definitely dead. Well, hang on, I digress. Right, wild rose here, which is rather nice. A pain in the bum if you work in the coppice. And this one here. The ones in the middle tend to be a little bit smaller. And each of these original cut stems is sprouting around its outside. And if you look in the centre, you can see 
but there's one big stem coming out the middle and another one here but some of the original cut stems which were alive have died off and there were more little shoots coming from all of those when it was originally first cut but they've now been shaded out so this I think you can see quite well indicates how stems spread how stools spread over time right so copy stool expansion and recession and you can see this stool that is 15 feet It'd be nice to come and measure them we haven't got the kick to do that today and if you look at this that's dead this one's dead 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 still alive still alive still dead don't want to break the live ones off you see that one's dead that one's alive that one's alive So, we've got a bit of expansion going on here, that one's dead, that one's dead, that's very thin and poorly, that one's thin and poorly, and these ones around the outside where they're low, these are all dead as well, but the big ones are doing right nicely. So you can see by year seven, so another two years for this lot, this will be bigger again, they'll be cut, and they'll again sprout from the outside. So, that's what I think happens to uh, stools as they grow, they expand, and as they get overstood, they uh, cycle down. This is another stool, different one. Exactly the same thing's happened. That one's still alive. Oh, that one's been eaten. That's dead. One. That one's dead. And over here is what happens when a stool has too much room. See the way this one has gone outwards. And it's grown very, very well because it's got lots and lots of light. So this one even at five years, it's getting, in inverted commas, overstood. And it's not going to be much use to, uh, to cut when these ones hit year seven, and that one, and that one, cut at exactly the same time. 